This is just a little present that I made for you. And is I, this one you were going to give me the other night? Yeah, I was going to give it to you the other night. And then I thought, why not? And then oh, I was, no, if it's like romantic, please don't do it on the podcast. Why not? Because that makes me highly uncomfortable. It's a, it's a song that I made for you. No, you day and I was wearing a jumper just a jumper and I was naked below and you were nearly laughing at me yes, when we were it's so funny imagine just like this tiny jumper with like your penis and balls just hanging out like you I were can't... laughing when we were having an argument you, you were look laughing. like a toddler just running around in a t-shirt you know and just the rest is just hanging out you laugh at everything I do you, you laugh when we have sex you laugh when we argue I came home from a very long day yesterday and I'm doing like this diet food Sophie knows I'm doing the diet food she'd eaten my meals She'd no, eat and, correction, and I'd eaten no, one meal Sophie, out of three. Like, Sophie, not you're a even, big gobbler, just eat them lunch not instead even of that, dinner. Sophie, not even that. I I, I ate the food. I, I, I didn't eat the food. I came back and you went, oh, sorry, I ate that. And I went, are you serious? You ate my food? And you'd only eaten a bit of it and thrown it in the bin. It was so gross. <laughs> what? It tasted Swine. like actual ass. I'm sorry, but it did. Well, I thought you liked the taste of that, so. <laughs> Oh, God. Someone called you a perv on my Instagram, by the way. And I can see why. You called me a perv. Yeah, you are a perv. You're a pervert. I, I wouldn't laugh, because really, there's no joking in my voice right there. That is the most serious thing I've said it all year. You can't call me a pervert. Someone texted me going, uh, why are you with that perv? And I went, fair comment. She's not wrong. I have a listener's message from Charlotte. Now, this is all about uh, being in a church at a wedding and something horrific happening. Basically, my friend went to a wedding and the couple were quite Catholic. Well, the wedding day was a delight. Nothing to report. All that was what everyone thought. Fast forward to when the photographers share the first selection of the photos. Every single photo had the groom with a massive boner. <laughs> because they were super Catholic and the poor boy had, the had never had sex before. Just imagine the photo on the mantelpiece of the granny was a picture of the granddaughter with her boyfriend with a huge lob on. <laughs> Wait, stop. What? Surely oh you just wanked. We, we have a friend of ours who, we have a friend of ours who, um, went on, who? we have a friend of ours, I'm not going to say, who a friend oh, of ours, whose friend then went onto a flight. He went onto a flight and he was sitting in his seat and he was like, oh God, I wonder who's going to get on the plane next to me. He didn't know. It was quite a long haul flight. And a really hot girl comes on and sits next to me. He's like, oh my God, all the stars have aligned. He's like, this is incredible. Anyway, they started having a conversation as the flight was going and they started having some drinks. And they started getting a little drunk and a little flirty with each other, a little tactile with each other. And it got to a point where she then like tickled him. And he was like, ha, ha, ha. So he tickled her back. Tickle, tickle, tickle. She went, ha, ha. This is violent. It went back and forth like that. And then he really tickled her. Tickle, tickle, tickle. She went, ha. And she went and lifted up his T-shirt and he had tucked his boner underneath his belt. <laughs> his boner was sticking up. Wait, who the hell is that? Sorry, at what stage oh, did the, he just... On the flight. What and he went, and he went whoa, whoa. I'm this sorry. was you, wasn't it? <laughs> it was not me. Why do you know that story so well? Oh. So do men tuck their boners up under their belts? Yes, they do, Sophie. Yes, they do. Lying. Yes, they do. Where do you think you hide it? Down your leg? Ugh. What do you mean, ugh? What? What do you mean, ugh? They um, go up the belt. Yeah, you hide your boner up your belt. Oh, you're vile. Why is that vile? You're vile. Why I is that vile? I don't believe it. I don't believe it for When a second. boys have erections, they put their penis up underneath their belt. So if you lift up the t-shirt, you'll see their helmet. No, not for this time in the morning, thank you. Where do you hide your vagina? Oh, God, <laughs> you're just hideous. Okay, moving on. That is outrageous. Tell me who the friend was now. That's the end of... No, tell me quickly. Listeners' messages. Tell me quickly. Can't tell you. That's just the tell end. me and we can be Shut up, we're going to continue the podcast. Come on. God, it's quite tough being real, isn't it? You're just walking down the street, boop. I have a little present for you. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I do. No. I have a present for you. Oh, God. No, no, no. Yes. Yeah. What is this? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I don't want a present on the podcast. Why that, not? That's just not for me. What? I will feel very uncomfortable. What is it? Oh, God. It's like some awful cameo, isn't it? It's not an awful cameo. Well, it's on your phone. Yeah, it is on my phone. What is it? A song? 
Maybe, yeah. I, I've, I've, it's your birthday this week. I love you so much. And I wanted to do something special for you. This is just a little present that I made for you. And is I, this one you were going to give me the other night? Yeah, I was going to give it to you the other night. And then I thought, why not? And then oh, I was, no, if it's like romantic, please don't do it on the podcast. Why not? Because that makes me highly uncomfortable. Why does it make you highly uncomfortable? <laughs> I think it's really sweet and really nice. What's your phone? What is this? It's a it's a song that I made for you. No, you. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. It's a you song. Didn't make me a song. Yeah. So happy you birthday. Sang it? I didn't sing it. No. Sing it for me. I didn't sing it. I got someone to sing it. I got I got it made, and <laughs> and because I love you so much, and I do, I love you with all of my heart, and you're the greatest person in the world. So I made you a song. <laughs> okay, go on, play it. And I know that you love country western music, so I made it country western. <laughs> So I'm going to play your song for your birthday. <laughs> no, you didn't get a country song. Come on, yeah. we're all on the edge of our seat. Okay, so it's titled My Best Friend. And it's, <laughs> it's to you. Happy birthday, Sophie. Did you like it? I love that. Thank you so much. Love. I love you so much. You're the greatest person in the world. And happy birthday. Thank you. Love you too. That is so cool. Yeah. You got more presents coming your way. That's no, just the start. Uh, yeah. I don't want any more. That's enough.